Welcome back to the channel, y'all. I'm Scotty G, back at it again. Today we're gonna to talk about maintenance sex. When it comes to romantic relationships, sex is the difference between lovers and everyone else in your life. It's very, very important when it comes to romantic relationships, especially marriage. My wife and I have been married for 20 years. We enjoy a very healthy physical relationship. I have talked to hundreds of dudes one-on-one, -on -one, thousands of people online, and a lot of the same things will come up when it comes to problems. And the bedroom is by far the most common thing for men, it's especially. Most couples and most married couples make the mistake of ignoring maintenance sex. So maintenance sex, what exactly is that? Okay, you're talking quickies, oral, digital, play, basically anything that's gonna be fairly quick uh, where you're gonna go through a release, a physical release, a little anxiety release uh, with, with, your, with your spouse or with your, with your man or your woman, physically. That's what we're talking about when it comes to maintenance sex. It's not just penetrative sex, we're talking sex basically in general. Sexual contact, physical contact between two people that care for each other. All right, that's what we're talking about when it comes to maintenance sex. Maintenance sex is excellent for midweek sex of where you don't have a whole lot of time, you're a little bit tired, you're a little bit fatigued. Does that sound a little bit boring to a lot of people that are listening to this right now? Maybe, but it doesn't have to be. Okay, but maintenance sex is maintaining your relationship. Maintenance sex is the glue when it comes to relationships, your physical relationship specifically. You need maintenance sex to maintain your physical connection. That's what we're talking about here. I recently read a study that came out in 2017 uh, detailing data from the General Social Survey. This study looked at 26,000 people from 1989 to 2014. So the average amount of sex that someone is having uh, as an adult in, in the United States at least is uh, basically once a week. That's average. Now, I don't know about you, but I'd like to be considered above average in pretty much everything that I do. That's just me. Um, so how do we get there? How do we get to the point where you're having sex once a week in your relationship or your marriage and plus check out a podcast that I did a long time ago um, here it is right here it's talking about eight different types of sex I talk about maintenance sex a little bit in that one but I wanted to really focus on this one because in my opinion maintenance sex may be the most important type of sex in your relationship in your marriage and any physical relationship period it maintains your connection but when it comes to maintenance sex, it, it doesn't need to become your habit, okay? When it becomes a habit, when, when you're forcing yourself to do this, or you, you, you're too tired, and, you, and you're just looking for a little bit of contact with your, with your partner and your spouse, it's okay during the week, but it cannot be the sole source of your physical contact. Too much of a good thing is gonna be a bad thing no matter what you do, okay? It's great to maintain your physical connection, but you need to mix it up, all right? Date nights, sex dates, weekends away, but maintenance sex is you're more mundane, you're more routine, you're more just getting your, your physical needs met, okay? When you're tired, when you don't have time, does that sound a little less sexy? Maybe to some, but it doesn't have to be. It can be a lot of fun, all right? But having <laughs> having a two-hour sex session during on a, on a Wednesday night uh, while your kids are asleep or they just went to sleep, that, does that sound very reasonable to you? <laughs> in, in, in Dreamland, maybe in a romance novel, possibly, but generally speaking, out there in the in in the real world that's probably not going to be very plausible all right so maintenance sex it serves a purpose it's not a bad thing a lot of people think maintenance sex is a bad thing i think it's actually the most important thing when it comes to a marriage and a physical relationship that's why i wanted to devote an episode specifically for this one something critical that i need to mention 
there's a difference between maintenance sex and starfish sex. Okay, starfish sex, if you don't know what that is, it's basically if you're just going to lay flat, say, get this over with, I've got something better to do. There's a big difference between maintenance sex and that. Fellas, starfish sex is unacceptable. Ladies, that's probably going to be offensive to you. Nobody wants that. Uh, men or women, they don't want to the, the get get this over type of sex ever. Okay, that's a big no no. Uh, if you're at that point in a relationship, that's when you're going to have to have some some tough conversations. Where do we stand? Where what's going on? I'm not I'm not accepting that. Those conversations are going to have to happen at that point. Okay, if there's a big difference between maintenance sex, what I'm talking about here, and starfish sex. Maintenance sex is a great thing. It's a good thing. It's a needed thing in a marriage and a relationship. Starfish sex is a warning sign. Where you run into trouble when it comes to maintenance sex is where you have sex just to have sex. In your mind, you're thinking, oh, it's been a long time since we've had sex. So if you consistently have just maintenance sex in your marriage, what's going to happen is you're going to build resentment in one or the other or even both of, your, of, of the spouses. If you're always doing the same thing over and over, it's it's going to get old, it's going to get repetitive, and anything that you do constantly, is it's going to get old eventually, so you have to mix it up. The boring routine, it's the cliche that you see in the movies and in sitcoms where marriage can get dull. In my opinion, that can happen, but don't let it happen. Okay, if you if you have to maintain a physical connection, Otherwise, are you a romantic couple at that point? That's that's my question for men and women. Okay, if if you're not, if you don't have a physical relationship, well, are you lovers or are you friends? <laughs> okay, because that, that's that's basically the big difference between the two things. All right, that's that's the, basically the biggest difference between a romantic relationship and a friendly one. Period. So how do you make it more fun? Okay, mix it up. Okay, make simple rules. You can make fun rules of hands only, of clothes on, clothes off, oral only, digital only. All of these things, that's legit. There's nothing wrong with that. And it makes it more fun and it makes it different. As long as things feel different over time, it's great. Everybody's going to have a little bit of a routine. That's okay. There's nothing wrong with it. That's why we call it maintenance sex and that's not the red hot sex variety. Okay, you can have that too. But when it comes to maintenance sex, it's very, very important to maintain the physical relationship. I know I've said that multiple times in this episode, but that is exactly what we're talking about here. It is very important to maintain your physical relationship. Otherwise, you don't have a ro romantic relationship, in my opinion. Okay. When it comes to the best marriages out there, those two spouses, the man and the woman, prioritizes the physical relationship Maintenance sex is the way to do that. Mix it up. Make simple rules. Have fun with it. That's what life's all about. It's all about having fun and having great experiences and living a life with a partner. In the end, that's really all you have. If you're all about accumulating wealth and stuff, all of the things that you own right now, 50 years from now, when you're dead and buried, it's going to be someone else's. So in the moment, it's all about the relationship that you have with your husband or your wife. And the most fun aspect of a marriage is the bedroom. If you like this material, hit that subscribe button. I appreciate everybody that's done that so far. We're just getting started with this channel and I'm having fun with it. This is not my main way of living, nor will it ever be. I am here to help you. I am here to help you live your best life period. And until next time, be better than you were yesterday and be desirable.